nice easy start to this question. We just need to substitute t equals 1 because t is the number of hours and we're told it's 1 hour. So t equals 1 into this so we get that h equals 10 plus 5 times the sine of pi by 6. Sine of pi by 6 we should know is um, half so that equals 12.5 metres. That's all we need for that. Now find to the nearest minute the times before midday when the height of the water is 9 metres. Okay, so before midday, so up to t is 12, basically. So we get height is 12, gives this equation. Oh, sorry, height is 12, well, I said height is 12. Height is 9, let's get rid of that rubbish. Will it let me? Nope. Okay, see if I can rub it out. Yeah, that's alright. Um, sorry about that, so height is 9 equals 10 plus 5 sine pi t by 6 for some values of t. So clearly 5 sine pi t by 6 equals minus 1. Divide that down here, we get that. Um, and now we just need to take inverse sines. So pi t by 6 equals the inverse sine of minus one fifth, which is uh, 0 0.201, something like that. So that equals 0 0.201. Uh, other other values. Well, sine is the y coordinate, so we've got minus sine is minus one fifth. This angle here and this angle here. This is minus 0 0.201, the value I just found, and so the other one is pi plus 0 0.201, which um, is 3.343. Um, so those are the those are the two values, so now we need to multiply by 6 and divide by pi, to get t equals, well from this one, multiply by 6 and divide by pi, we get, uh, oh no, no, that's negative, so we need to, sorry I'm talking rubbish here, so we need to now add, add another pi onto this, same angle but uh, one lap further on, so 2 pi minus 0 0.201, which is 6.081. So this negative is actually this negative here isn't actually a proper solution because it would mean a time before midnight. This is this is the solution we're looking for, which is one lap further on, two pi two pi further on. So now we need to yeah, multiply by six and divide by pi to get t equals um, six point three eight four, or from the six point zero two eight one eleven point six one. Five, and now we need to convert those into times, which is six. This is six hours and not six hours and thirty-eight minutes. It's six hours and thirty-eight hundredths of an hour. So we need to multiply the thirty-eight by a um, hundred over sixty. Oh, did I say that wrong? No, sixty over a hundred. Got it right now. So that's six hours and twenty-three minutes. And this one is 11, 11 and uh, 6100, so 61 divided by 100 times 60, which would give 11, um, 37. So those are the two times, two times that we're looking for.